Hello, 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 it's me, VixL123. We are playing some more Poly Bridge today. Gonna be building the things that cars go over and hopefully don't die while doing so. We have uh, smashed through some levels in the last episode. We're gonna be continuing from where we left off. And uh, ooh, we have a 42 meter suspension bridge. Okay, so this is uh, it's quite, quite a long bridge, definitely. So, start off with the road. Now the road we have unlimited of. Just seeing how little of this the road actually covers already worries me. But, you know, it makes a nice little straight something or other. We get unlimited steel. It's just a budget you've got to look out for. So, suspensions bridge would suggest to me that uh, we need to we need to make a suspension bridge, obviously. So, we need to have this whole bridge kind of supported from these kind of railings. Now, should I have that in a straight kind of straight line? Can we get that? I wonder if this is a good idea. I really do. Do we have that go straight out the mid? In fact, you're not. You know, let's just link those together. No way. Let's uh, let's just make. Okay, that's not gonna work. You know, this. I like this actually. I like. Thing is, can you get a middle point there? I don't really think there is a middle point, and that just looks stupid. Oh wait, actually, if we bring it down a bit, there we go. We have got the middle point. There we go. We link that together there. And perhaps even add in, can, can that reach? You know it's bad when steel can't reach. I mean, that that holds together until it doesn't. Yeah, we definitely do need some. Okay, so what we can do is bring that down. Apparently we can't. Why, why would that not be allowed to move down? Oh my gosh, this whole thing looks wonky as hell. <laughs> I'm, in fact, I'm expecting it to cut the middle of there, which it won't actually do. But there we go. Now we have that. That should, that, that remains solid, which is great. And that piece of road is that, I believe, in, in a better world for roads. So now if I just got cable and just kind of suspended this whole thing up there, would this stage of the bridge stay alive? Would we be suspensioning correctly? We'll probably need to add some, maybe some frame underneath just to hold all of the road together. But just to take a look at this section here, let's see how this does. So that section falls until the other half pulls it down. Let's let's go for the same thing on the other side. And we can use the other side to work out the height that we want to do this to. Here we go again. Looking nice. We want to bring it down so we can get in the middle to that height. Okay, it still doesn't go in the middle. Whatever. That will do. Now we want even more cable. It says suspension bridge, and those people like Vic doesn't make enough suspension bridges in my last episode, so I can I can you know I can I can appreciate the comments when they call me out. A lot of the time I'm like, no, I'm just gonna go into denial. But no, no no no, I can I can I can appreciate it. So we have that to there. Okay, the bridge holds strong, well under budget. This guy might not make it. See, I wouldn't I wouldn't be I wouldn't if I saw a bridge bending like that. I would not feel safe going over. Okay, so it's there. We lost it. Uh, is that enough? See, if I saw a bridge bending like this one is, I would be like, no, I'm not going on that bridge. And, you know, he was definitely right. But the thing is, we've got tons of budget to add more to this. We could even have it... What if we have it, like, cross over? Ooh. We never, ever, ever cross over. It's just not a song you'd sing about bridges, is it? I see. See, I'm just making them go fast now. And it's going to drop at the end. We've, we've nailed it. We've nailed it. 20,000 under budget. Sign me up for some more bridge bridging. I am bridge material goals. Bridge material goals, sure. Okay, we have three steel. And... Oh, no. They want me to use hydraulics. So, we need a section of the bridge that is up. And this, oh dear. I've got three steel. Three steel. That's what we're working with here. Oh, where does one even begin? Okay, so road. We want, like, ideally we want it going like that. And then we're going to have to have a section of this that, I guess, opens. So that gets pulled up and there's more kind of road, like, there. Uh, I think. Yeah. I don't even know. This is definitely going to be a test. 
I guess realistically, I'm just gonna have to do what I do every time and just work on some trial and error type stuff. That's what we're gonna have to do. So let's just, first of all, see if we can get a bridge that knows how to exist. Let's just get a flat bridge that works. That's the plan. See, that doesn't reach now. That's ruined everything that I had in mind. We can just go for that. And then continue the huge zigzag maneuvers. There we go. They play such peaceful music. For a guy who doesn't have any experience in building bridges, about to kill a bunch of poor innocent people as they fall through the bridge that he decided just to YOLO it an attempt. I don't feel like this music is appropriate at all. So there we go. We've used a nice amount of our budget, but we've got first guy can get to where he's not trying to go to. Which is fantastic. And this guy... Uh, if they're not even gonna, they don't even let the caravan go. They're like, Vic, you failed. You suck. But it's fine. It's fine. So now what I would need is some road coming down. Like, let's have it. Let's have it aiming for there. So we just need that to kind of exist. You know, we can even add some steel in here. Wait, does it say, it says unlimited steel, the hotkey is three, what am I doing with my life? If we, I'm just thinking how we worked this section. Because I assume the hydraulic will open up afterwards. See, this just looks sick. So this, why is that falling out now? Oh, okay, whatever. Wait, why did that even happen? <laughs> How did I make my bridge so much worse? I guess I put a load of weight down on this side of the bridge, so there's loads of pressure there now. Loads of it. Which actually does make a lot of sense. Um, so let's, okay, let's, let's hold up a second. Let's, uh... We're definitely going to have some road coming up from here. Let's see, if it was just road, it's obviously going to collapse. Yes, that would make sense. So if we have it kind of held up up here, somewhere like there, we get some wood to fasten this all together. I should perhaps be using more steel. I guess anywhere there's weakness, we can replace it with steel. Let's, uh, let's hook all this together. The idea being that, okay, this all holds together. And then if I just make this section hydraulically lift up down the line, that could be good. Okay, so here, you know, I'm going to just replace that. And that, that's where we're getting the most pressure with some steel. We've got the budget to do it, just about. Now, now that pressure is, or the pressure, the, I don't know, the stress has been moved there, the tension, the stress. Okay, so there's a lot, there's a lot going on there. So one of them gets to where it needs to go, and then we just need that section to lift up. So we just add a nice little bit like, in fact, how do we even want it to? Um, actually, we want it to lift up above, so. And loads of you told me that you can adjust the power of the hydraulics just by dragging on them. Um, Let's actually, we want that to lift up quite high, so we're going to need something. The thing is, it can't attach to that joint, because that joint's going to, we're going to double click that. That's a split joint now. The thing is, I'm worried that it's the whole thing's going to split apart, because it's a split joint. How does this even, I've never done this. Okay, if we had this like that, and the hydraulic there, and then... can make it expand. Okay, we want it to open up to there. I have no idea what's going to happen now, and we're over budget, I know. I have no idea how this is going to work. Oh dear, so what's going to happen? I'm just going to pull my bridge apart. <laughs> Hydraulics plus, how do we make this work? So after a lot of derping and failing, I uh, kind of realized, I just realized, I kind of realized that I just wanted to lift up the top section of the bridge that the bottom section just hang down and uh, that should be all good. 
Now, I am a little over budget, and you guys know I hate that, so this guy just about makes it up, and uh, I'm going to need to work out where I can actually remove some stuff, but yeah, you have kind of half of it just hang down and get supported by the bridge, the other half lift up, and what do you know, the car makes it through, but again, this is one of those bridges that will never really be used again, so where can we save some money, perhaps here, let's watch the mistakes be made, we don't put road in there, we'll put some wood in, let's see, can we replace that with wood? I think we might be able to. We're still a tiny bit over budget. Let's see. Oh, that's that's probably where we made the mistake. Yeah, no, that's definitely where we made the mistake. There's no denying that straight away. Off the go. So where, I mean, there's no trouble around this area. Is there anything we can make? So that makes it through, and I'm pretty sure the camper van will make it through as well. Where can we uh, save some, some coin? I feel like there we can't, but I'm going to try it anyway. No, we definitely can't, because look, that's one of the pressure points anyway. So close now. Oops, wood. So which of these will kind of pull apart? Because I could replace it. Can we remove? I, don't, I feel like removing that's a bad idea. It really is. Is any of this... These, it's, it's all it's all triangles here. It's all the good triangles in life. I need to save a hundred. Okay. You know what? There's only weight hanging off there, so I'm gonna replace that with a cable. Is that any cheaper? Actually, I feel like cables are more expensive than wood. 159. Then put in some wood. 102. Okay, so we can't even put in cables unless I replace that with a cable. Because I wouldn't. Re wouldn't really. In fact, I could probably replace that with wood as well, but we'll see how that does. Let's go for it. I'm confident. Yeah, there's no trouble. Look at this guy. He's going to go through. No trouble at all. That's the only the only worry. Thing is, now I have enough to replace that with steel. Because I, There we go. And we're sorted. It's going to be all good. Perfect. So he makes it to where he wants to park his car up with the, the camel. And we're under budget. We're moving on to another level. They nearly got me there with my lack of hydraulic knowledge. I assume they can do the same thing here, because let me guess, there's only enough to do that. So we need two, two uh, hydraulics, and they better give me four hydraulics. Yeah, they do. So, let's uh, use some steel. How much do we have? Steel, this time there's 12 available, okay. That's fine. So we're going to have some steel to... Let's see, how much of this do we want to be steel? I'm thinking something. In fact, symmetrically, if we can get some of it working, we'll be in a good position. So here we want... I think it's actually okay. I see the middle section of this bridge needs to be held up from the edges. And then we still need to... We can hydraulic pull it to there and to a point we'll have, like, based over here. So let's see. Let's uh, now pull this. Oh, that can't be pulled across anymore. That has to exist there. Okay, this is going to be interesting now. Now, let's see. Now, we're going to need to flesh out the rest with wood. Which is something... Is it something I would like to do? I really don't know. That almost reaches. Can we uh, pull that across? It reaches. Yes, we can. There we go. Oh, wait. That needs to be pulled over again. All right. Now, see, yeah, we can't have anything connecting to that point there. Oh, gosh. It just drops like an earthquake. Uh-huh. See, we can't have anything in that space. In fact, having something here probably would not be a bad idea. Something somewhat like this. Oh my gosh. This is all starting to make me question what I've done here. See, that looks good. Why, does, why can't I make something look good like that on this side? What have I done here? Have something that just goes... Yeah, actually, I could have had something. That looks... Oh, yeah, it goes like that, and then there, and there. Okay, that holds itself together-ish right now. Perhaps having something like this as well. 
Oh my gosh, we're already over budget. That steel usage too strong. So the idea is to lift that to there. Out of money. Oh, so that's literally so you've got you've got to try and do it within the budget. But if you go totally out of that, it won't let you place anymore. Okay, back to the drawing board. So now we have a double drawbridge, and I'm assuming, yeah, the road only just reaches to the other side. So you have to place the road like that. We need split joints here. I'm assuming they're giving us two um, sets of hydraulics. Yep, four hydraulics. So what do we get? We have unlimited um, wood, 12 steel, unlimited cable, and okay, four hydraulics. So I definitely think a suspension bridge could be on here if I create something like this this then we have cables holding together parts of it see would the boat just snap that cable I feel like it would so maybe if we have kind of a steel type frame the thing is this area needs to be I can't connect anything to there because that has to open up and open up so that's the slight worry here what if I create kind of a wooden shape here where even is the middle of this? Is there even a middle? There must be, right? Yeah, that's the middle there. Create that to hold this section together. Somewhat. Then we cable to it. See, I don't even know what I'm doing here. But I'm just kind of praying it will work. Kind of holds together that middle section. Yeah, once it has a car on it, it's not going to support. We need to even pull these sections to the middle, which is going to be like, how is it even going to work? You know, I think we just need something really secure on the top. Let's forget those cables and let's uh, let's get some steel coming out here. How much budget do we have? Okay, we're getting close to budget already. This is not going to be easy. Then, oh god, okay, we'll have that to there, have that stretch out a bit, run to here, hmm, <laughs> kind of holds, oh, actually, we could bring this all together, that could definitely help, let's get that like so. Okay, we've got a breeze that looks like it can kind of hold itself together here. I guess, honestly, if I just add some of this here. And then we're just going to add the hydraulics after. Ooh, and go like... We're well over budget here. But that all holds together. Thing is, if you go too far over budget, it literally won't even... It won't even let you uh, place anything more, so we need to be careful of that hydraulic. So, I pulled that to there. Is the longer the hydraulic, the more it costs? That went up to 20. Yeah, it is. So, I need to pull that up to there. That up to there. Oh dear. That's not going to lift above the boat, is it? And out of money. Um. It's a hard life here. I feel like taking those out is a mistake, but hey. Also, I want to add that back. Let's just see if we have anything that even remotely works. Okay, he can get through. Actually, if I just get these two... So, people said click on these, you can get them to contract. Up to there. Does that help? I mean, I want them to, yeah, pull up to there. Does that, does that help the boat clear the space? Okay, now wait, maybe we go the other way. I feel like this isn't going to help at all. Actually, no, no, that, that should help. Okay, so pull those up to there. No, I feel like 50% was the best it was going to be. But that still doesn't let the boat through. What we can do is we can have them pulled more outwards, more upwards. Again, out of money. Let's see if that side works though. So let's see. Oh, it's not even gonna. Let's just throw some wood in there just to hold that while we just test this side. So this side, 
opened up way more now and the boat can get through. Okay, so what if I have them up to here? Oh my. The expensiveness of this stuff. Right here. Um... <laughs> Cheap skating to the max here. But it could save us here. And the hydraulics we want running up to there and there. Here and here. Out of money, seriously? I'll make these even smaller. There we go. I need money! I don't have enough. I think we do need that bit over the top. I think we do. I don't even I wanna get something working before I start trying to cut stuff out, you know? Um Okay, what if we have this up to there but that up to the shorter bit? Same again, that up to there. Can we even there we go, get rid of that and that up to there. Will that allow a boat through? Now this middle section doesn't hold. Here we go, add a triangle if all else fails. Nope. Make it out of steel if all else fails. Please have enough money. Okay. If he makes it through fine. Do those lift up enough? Oh, they do! Hold up! And then the other one can, of course, make it through. Okay, we've done it, but we're nearly, oh my gosh, nearly 9,000 over budget. I definitely could have picked a smarter design, but I think on this one, I'm just going to accept that I am just not good enough. I, I like what I created, I just don't know where I could have saved so much money. I mean, let's see, I guess this area is really strong here, but it's the middle stuff. It doesn't work quite as well. What if I, like, try and replace this with wood? See if we can do something like that. I mean, if this doesn't work, I'll just accept my fate. So, yeah, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. And that's just saved us a, a bunch of money. Okay, so what if we go here and do the same thing? <laughs> Again, being cheap to the max. Okay, so we've saved a ton of money there. That steel was seemingly useless. Okay, nice. Why, why, why the second one? Why could the second one not make it? Oh, there we go. That should be fine now then. Well, like, I don't get it. They're the same weight, right? Why would the first one make it but not the second? It's a mystery. It is a mystery. You know, I'm just accepting that, you know, I, I did it once over over budget. And I don't get that. What What has changed? Nothing has changed. But the bridges, I don't even know which bit even breaks then. The first one makes it across. Let's go slow on the second one. See where we even have the break. Okay. Where does it break? Okay, straight over the top. Whatever. I am gonna, I'm gonna, you know, just pretend that, see, that's the only one. See, that bugs me. It's yellow now because I couldn't do it under budget. You know, I'm actually gonna try and just take a cut here. I'm gonna try a brand new design and we'll see if it works. And this is what I ended up with. I spent so long trying to make this middle section here kind of float held up from either end and I could not do it. And I thought, hang on a second. What if I just make the whole bridge one massive drawbridge and uh, get ready for this? Here we go. So I made it so they could get across just normally. Then I literally just added a split in the middle and look at that. It lifts the entire whole bridge up, which actually is quite nice because you look at it as two different bridges, kind of. It doesn't have to all be held up from the edges. And then the second one, it worked like a few minutes ago. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, seriously? Nah. Nah, what is going on here? Okay, what if I make it all the same height? The thing is, that put it over budget. The tiniest bit. Tiniest bit over budget right now. You, you can't, you gotta be kidding me. See, that puts it under budget, but I don't think that works enough. Oh, absolute nightmare we've had here. What if I just pull those further away, put it back up to height? Oh my god, we're 10, 10 squid over budget. Okay, let's try something like this. It worked! I promise you, it did work. 
and it will work again. Like, I don't understand why there would be any difference when the second one comes along, especially with this design. Especially with this design, look. Lock it down. Come on. There we go, okay, minor tweaks needed just under the budget, and I feel better about that level now. On the map, it will be greened out. Okay, I think this is going to be the final level for today. 20 meter double overpass, so yeah, we just got wood for this. Thing is, I usually, I say, I say usually, I usually like these kind of levels, so let's get our, uh, our road in. Let's probably have it curve around like that. Now, we should probably do the same thing over here. Let's get it up to the height we want it at. And then the way to do it is to grab this and stretch these out until there's a middle point like that. And then put them in the middle of the middle. Okay, this is what we're working with. Now we're just going to make this work. Right? It's what we're working with. We've got to make it work. So that's going to be nice there. Then uh, let's, let's deselect that. Okay, so let's do a similar thing, probably up to there. Then from here, let's run it to the middle. Keeping this all actually really close together. Can we get any more? We can't get any more height from that. I mean, what if we try a really, really thin, thin strategy here? I think the best thing to do is what I usually do is just kind of give it a go, see where we get to, and if it doesn't work, then try something different. So we've got this whole thing. Now we just link it all together. Will it support itself? I feel like there needs to be a more of a curve in the, even the middle section. I think. I feel like. Oh yeah, and then we just have a little bit on the bottom here. Almost tempting to link it up. How much budget have we got? We've got plenty of budget. Oh, we can make it kind of freestand on here, actually. This could work out quite well. And then... Mind you, that should hold it on the middle. Okay. All right, well, we're working towards something now. As opposed to working towards nothing. So we want something like that. That's just going to mean all of this is a little more secure. We're over budget now. But let's see if this at least works before we uh, give up on our dreams, before we let our dreams be dreams. Let's see if this works out. I think that is. Yeah, that works a charm. So there's no actual locking point, we just have to make that happen. Now we are, as you can see, quite over budget. Where is there room for saving? Maybe just take out that edge? We're still over budget with that. And it doesn't support itself. I think I've done all of these way too close together, probably. Because, you know, I wouldn't even need this section if I'd maxed out the height here and it would add to the curve really nicely. So why don't we just pull these all up as much as we can. Here we go. And we're still under budget. We have to start from this end. That ought to work. We could even bring it down a tiny bit, just have it flat there. Let's just see if that works. Well, actually, that middle bit's under a lot of stress before anything's even happened there. Before anything's even happened. So let's have it curve up more gently, I'd say. Let's see. It's all about those angles, and we're not quite nailing them right now. This is definitely the idea we want to go for, though. Hmm. How can we make it all a bit... A bit more... Balanced. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go start from scratch again. Never hurts too much to do that. Let's add in our road again. And I think the road needs to curve the whole way. And then it needs to kind of become an arch. Here we go. I guess actually there's no need for it to curve beyond there. Just because it is on the flat. Ooh, that links up much nicer in the middle as well. The middle being there. Then that's just gonna rest on the wood there. Is that like centered enough? I mean, it's gonna need support either set unless I give it its own support. Here, we actually use this rock way more to support the bridge. Actually, this makes a lot of sense. That's obviously gonna have to go like that. 
and we want a point here that links to all of that. So now the middle of the bridge is really nicely held up, actually. Not by its own choice. So there we go, the middle of the bridge should hold quite nicely. And now we just need to add a little bit to here. Just keep all of this together. Shouldn't be half bad. And we're well under budget right now. I think this is what I was... This is what I was meant to do with myself. This is what I was meant to do with my life. It all suddenly made sense. I guess realistically we should lift all of this up as much as we can. Keep collateral triangles are the stronger ones. We could have it curved down a bit. Look at that. It's actually beautiful. We're well under budget. It budged a little bit and that's it. That is that level down. Okay, an easy one to finish off the desert winds. You know, actually, there's one more. One more bridge on this level. Let's, let's get this one done. Let's take off this whole level this episode. So, what have we... Okay, large paddle boat drawbridge. That is a tall one. And unlimited road. I think I should try my uh, lift up the bridge the whole way thing again. I definitely think that would be... That would be advisable. Let's see. We need to make it all... I guess it doesn't need to meet up perfectly. Although it probably should. Nah, because one car's got to get, get over it straight away. I assume, yeah, it's middled up to there. We just need to make it... Oh, we have nothing to kind of pull it backwards, actually, outwards with. So, now I'm leading to think... I think that boat is huge. I think this is going to be one of those struggle levels. Unlimited hydraulics. No steel. Wow. I mean, we could create our end point like here and have the whole bridge hanging off that. Could try something very strange here. I guess the only real thing to do is just to try stuff like this. Do some more wood. So we create something like this. I think this... I'm not sure. Hmm... What if I just try and just build a massively arched bridge? That's what I honestly, I honestly feel like, forget the drawbridge here. It's not gonna help me out. <laughs> Create the Mount Everest of bridges. And if I can get this whole thing secured, <laughs> this could be Mount Everest, the bridge, as opposed to Mount Everest, the mountain. Don't know why it's still got mountain there. This is Bridge Everest. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> As what everybody says at this point in the video. Oh dear indeed. Okay. I'm gonna have to move this whole thing along a bit. Does that all link up? I made it all out of the road. I'm sorry. Let me do some magic. Right. Let's see if Mount Bridgerist has promise here. Oh my gosh. This is so stupid. That is so dumb. It's not going to survive the station wagon. And, and so it shouldn't. And so it shouldn't. Again, who would drive over? A Please don't. It technically beat the level like that. No, no. I, I'm going to make it so I can survive the station wagon. I feel like that's my duty to humankind is as much as doing that. Now, will the bridge survive that? Will the boat make it over that? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know, honestly, we can just like strengthen the whole thing, but feel bad about it at the same time. Feel bad about it. Feel very bad. Okay, so you make it over no trouble. You fly. This guy flies even more. Look at this guy go. We're still well under budget. I'm a terrible person. I build the most retarded bridges that there are, but, you know, sometimes being retarded works. There's your life lesson for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Anyway, if you did, leave a like, and uh, I will, I guess, see you guys on the snow drift world. That is it, and goodbye.